In this video, we're going to be making a Flappy Bird clone in Scratch. So, without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start off by creating a new Scratch project. And let's get rid of the default sprite, which is the cat. So let's go ahead and grab our bird. And we're going to grab the parrot sprite. If you just search parrot right here in the top. This sprite here has a nice little flap animation. So it makes the perfect candidate for this uh, flappy bird clone. <coughs> Immediately, here he is, entered the scene. And let's start off by placing some code on this bird. First code. <coughs> the first code we're going to use is when the flag is clicked. When the flag is clicked, we also want to reduce its size just a little bit. Currently, this is is full 100% size. Let's turn this down to about 25. Next, uh, we're just going to position him where we want him to start in this in the game. So maybe about right here. Um, I want to say like a negative. Um, yep, yeah, this is a negative 80. Say negative 80, and then zero on the Y. Next, let's create the gravity with a forever, and then just changes y by a negative value. So we'll try a negative three, so it's not too fast. Let's test this by hitting the go green flag. There he falls. Awesome. We hit it again. He spawns in the middle and falls. So the gravity is working. Next, let's work on the functionality here to make him flap and go back up. For this, we'll get a event for when we press the space button. After we press that button, we want to switch his costume. And we're going to be switching it to the first costume. Then with a repeat. And we're going to say repeat about five. Then we want to boost his height back up. Let's add a number about six. After that, we're going to just do the same thing. But this time, costume B. Let's take a look at how this looks. As I press space, you can see he flaps and go back up. Awesome. This bird is almost complete. Let's set up some um, logics now for if he hits the wall or runs into the pipe or just falls, basically. So we're going to go ahead and grab just the when the flag is click. Let's look for the wait until. And then in our sensing, we can sense in for if we're touching something. So we're going to get two of these. And we'll set one to touch in the edge. And in the operator, we're going to get the or. So I'm touching the edge. And this other one would say or touching the pipes. But we don't have the pipes yet. So I'll leave this right here. And we'll get back to it. In this case, if this does happen, then it's basically game over. So we're just going to grab, grab the say button and we'll say game over. Or we could just have it yell ouch. Let's also broadcast a message. And this new message will also be game over. This is a way that we can have the bird, when the bird crashes into the pipe, also stop the rest of the game from playing. So let's go ahead and find a stop all. We're going to switch this to stop other scripts in Sprite. Now this code is pretty much done. Let's go ahead and build the pipes. Hover over the choose sprite and go to paint. And we're going to draw these pipes. Use the rectangle tool 
just draw a pipe like this and then just draw the top like like so perfect so what you want to do here is we're going to go to the fill and in the color we'll first select radiant gradient <laughs> and then uh, this first color here on the left we'll click it and then select a green click the second one on the right and we'll select a slightly yellow and now let's color these two nice let's click the select tool and draw a box over it to select both of them then we'll hit copy paste then flip vertical and just drag this one up I think I will just drag this one down a little bit to make them somewhat even just like that well yeah that's fine now let's put some code on these pipes and we can wrap this up. First thing is when we start as a clone, we want to show. So we're going to be cloning these. And when we start as a clone, we want it to show. That's the first thing. And then we want it to go to, right? What position? About 240 on the X, which is going this way. We want it to spawn in this very corner and come drift um, to the left. And then for the Y, we're going to have it be random. So we say pick a number. It's going to be anywhere from negative 80 to a positive 80. See? spawns randomly in that corner in a random um, origin on the on the Y next we want to glide so we're going to glide to a, the negative 240 but we're going to keep our Y position that we spawn at the random Y position over the course of speed um, I think a good speed is about 4 you can see it here if we try it and that's what it looks like once it does reaches this destination we want to now delete this clone all right, so now let's create a system to spawn the clone. Right here in the same block, we're going to do a, when the flag is click, we want to spawn them in at a certain size. We want to spawn them in at a certain size. <clears throat> so I think they're a little bit small. I'll do about 150. You want to hide this one, which is the original one. It's going to go hide like this. And then in the forever, let's get a forever. We're going to create clone. So create clone of myself. And then we're going to wait about two seconds before we create another. So if I hit play, you see here, it spawns them in these random locations. Perfect. Works like a charm. Next, we want to be able to turn off the game. And you can see here we're broadcasting this message. And we're also turning everything off. We want to do the same thing here now. Is receive the message. So when the game object or the game over message is received, we're simply going to stop all on this script the same way we did the other. Now go ahead and test your game using space to go through the pipes it's looking pretty good but as you can see we can actually go through the pipes <laughs> so let's fix that now that we have the pipes um, let's go ahead and rename this sprite 
I'll just call it pipes and if we click back on the parrot remember this it's time for us to set this one up so we say pipes so now the code read until touch an edge or pipes so now when we touch the pipes the game should also be over if we touch the edge or fall it will also be over boom and that's it you can improve on this game by maybe going to the backdrop and selecting the blue skies as it goes pretty nicely with this game well, that's it for today guys thanks again for watching and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to support the channel see you in the next one